Now the thing I get asked about quite a lot as well is how do I kind of work on the photograph? What's the photograph on? Do I print it off? Do I look at it on a computer, on my mobile phone, on a tablet? Well, actually, yes, it's a tablet. So it's, this is just a basic one, okay? This is um, one from Tesco, believe it or not, which they no longer do. So if I look on here, you can now see the photograph. And this is obviously on the stand in front of me as well. Where I can zoom into all those lovely details on the photo and see exactly what I want to see. So I can really pick out those colours within all these fine feathers, within the oranges and the blues. And I can see by looking in here, there are greens in there as well, just by looking closely at that photograph. So that's the beauty about having something like a tablet or an iPad or something like that, even on your mobile phone, where you can zoom in to the photograph to see those lovely details and the colours which you need to paint with. So you can do a lot of testing before you make a start. So that gives some ideas why I use a tablet. And as I said, there's a variety of them on the market and I'd recommend just getting yourself one of these if you haven't got one already. But look for one that's got a high resolution, okay? So you can see all them details in there. And obviously, but to be able to do this, you need a very large photo as well. So I'll give you some ideas on why I use a tablet. If you've got any questions or comments, please post them down below. I'd love to hear from you because I want to know if you use a tablet, an iPad, a phone, a computer screen, let me know what you do. It'd be quite interesting to find out actually as well. So until next time around, bye bye for now. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye bye for now.